Okay, now Brian up and running for the new flat season here. He's just captured the feature event. Just been congratulated actually by Joe Murphy after a brilliant win. And Aidan just con complimenting Joe and the way his filly ran. I'm sure you were thrilled though with Brilliant's performance. Yeah, really. delighted Gary. She'd lovely farm from last year and I think she was near enough the highest rated filly in the race. Um, Sarah is in charge of her home, does a great job with her Janet there who rides her. So um, um, she'd been working nicely. Um, I think we and my Hiroda work actually last week. Um, at her last day so um no she's lovely filly travels well she probably doesn't need that ground it's it's tough on a three-year-old filly or again older horses in that ground so she, i thought she did very well i thought declan gave her a very good ride um he nursed her and nursed her as long as he could and and when he she had to fight like he he, he got her to fight at the right time you know so um she'll run and probably go to the english guineas now and come back to the irish guineas uh, she doesn't need to go to another trial because that would have been tough in that ground so give her a bit of time to recover so um no she lovely filly really real hardy filly as well and she showed that i suppose last autumn she kept coming back for a bit more do you think she will stretch out in distance at all this yeah season? she could i wouldn't be sure she, she traveled very well through the race so i'd say a mile is no problem to her maybe she will but i wouldn't be sure she's she's not slow i'd say uh, listen, if you go back and look at her through the waist, the way she travelled, she, she wasn't. Uh, she didn't look like a filly, but uh, I think it was more toughness than anything. But like obviously she could, but say it was more toughness that made her fight. Um, but like I said, Declan was very strong on her. Everlasting showed up well for a long way too. Did you like what you saw there in terms of her future? Process? Yeah, very happy. She she uh, works a very nice filly. Uh, first run probably was going to improve more than the winner uh, so I'd say uh, next time she'll be a much better filly but ran a lovely race uh, she was uh, forward in the pace and, and the pace was on in, in very heavy ground probably got a little bit tired but I'd say there'll be plenty to come from her. Aiden, I'm just trying to remember I think it's on this day in the past you have brought some horses to work after racing that, that's not going to happen today. Again, no we, we thought it was and uh, I think Brian uh, didn't want to do it then um, even though um, listen uh, at the end I think the ground wasn't it's not bad here at all really like we've often came here in, in much worse ground but I, I think he thought it was the right thing to, to mine the ground so um, um, that was usually the plan so we'll see what we'll do in the next week or so we'd like to get the big horses out for a day so that's what we usually do um, so we hopefully we'll be able to get them out somewhere in the next week or two. As things stand are you pretty much where you want to be with the likes of City of Troy, Henry Longfellow, Opera Singer? Yes, yes uh, they are yeah um, uh, Opera Singer's a little bit behind them and might not make the English guineas um, but the Colts are, are good and forward and where we, they are where we want them to be, They'll, we usually put them together uh, over seven and a half, seven furlongs this day, and then we have a, a lo little look to see where they are. It, it often doesn't depend on where they finish, but it, like you'd have a fair idea from watching them and talking to the lads uh, what we would do with them. But the, the plans are all the same, the kind of uh, what we think we're going to do. But uh, we'd like to get them away now for a day and, and to see then. You know. Opera singer, is she just a bit slow to come to hand, or is she actually had a yeah, setback? No, no, she had a little setback, and uh, she had to have two weeks uh, easy. And when you have two weeks easy, it's just difficult enough to get to the English Guineas. So, um, listen, it's, it's, it's possible, but I'd say probably more unlikely than likely. Um, and she could end up starting here in the corridor rather than starting in, in, uh, in England. Um, we won't force her. She's a beautiful big filly, and uh, very happy with her. Jamie's very happy with her now. Alan Roder Smon, very happy. So, um, no, we, we won't force her, but um, she had a couple of easy weeks and when that happens you have to just be, be aware, of it, aware of it. And with the two star colts, I think your inclination was to kind of go different trajectories with them. Is that still the way you're thinking? Yeah, I think that's what the lads were wanting to do. Uh, I think uh, they were thinking of going to Newmarket with City of Troy and, and maybe going to France with the other horse and then we'll have the Curra horses after that. Uh, so that's what we're thinking at the moment. But like when they do a half speed together, we'll have a fair idea. But that's the, it, what the way it looks at the moment. Um, but like I say, everything has went well with them uh, so far. And Aiden, a bit of an end of an era, I suppose, with Jamie Heffernan and yourself parting ways. Sounds as though it's all very amicable. Would you expect him to pick up the odd ride for you guys still? Of course, absolutely. Like, um, listen, I sure, like I read in the papers, sure, Seamus must be riding for us for 25 or 30 years. And and, uh, and like I say, at, at the start of every year, I never know when Seamus is coming back or whether it does. And obviously himself and uh, Richella had a, a chat. And, and, and uh, I suppose it's, uh, he was always with his six mornings a week. And uh, he ob they obviously felt that he might like to give the outside world a bit of a chance and like he's obviously a lot of people he's ridden for and a lot of people he will be able to ride for and like, we totally appreciate that and understand it and, and respect it in every way and um, and uh, like obviously I think Seamus is 51 or 52 now and like if he's going to do it now is the time to do it um, like obviously there'll be plenty of times that he'd fall in for us and uh, he's a lot of experience and uh, a great fella so um, that's the way I'd imagine it will be and, and uh, I totally understand it uh, 100% um, so um, no sure listen it's it's um everyone has to do what 
they think is right and there's no point in him working for us every day there and his heart being somewhere else or thinking that he should be somewhere else like and listen it's he has to try it if he thinks it and and uh, and I, listen uh, who I, I definitely couldn't say it would be the wrong thing you know so and he Seamus will ride a lot of horses for a lot of people and a lot of good races you know and a lot of experience and hopefully there'll be plenty of times he'll ride for us again as well and Aidan, on a personal level are you as excited as ever at this stage of the season I guess when you've got a horse like City of Troy to spearhead the team you couldn't not be no exactly uh, Dean rides him every day and, and uh, uh, Andrew's in charge of him and they're very uh, very happy with him um, uh, Davey uh, uh, looks after him but everything has went very well with him um, um, uh, he's, he's matured lovely he's, uh, he's moving well he's going through all his work very well and he's uh, floating through the work that he's doing um, even though our ground is very bad he's finding it very easy so he's very exciting and, and uh, hopefully but like it's, it's day by day with those horses this time of year but we couldn't be happy with where we are at the moment and just final question Aidan Augusto Rodan is all well with him? yeah very happy again Andrew's in charge of him uh, Rachel rides him out and rides him in, in all his work and over the moon with him as well um, so uh, Davey looks after him as well so the, the plan is this weekend uh, this weekend yeah he's he'll uh, work this week and then this weekend he's going off to Dubai so uh, no he's in a lovely place uh, he was in uh, Dundalk uh, two or three four weeks ago and uh, everything went lovely so um, no couldn't be happy with him really and, and looking forward to me this is a big week for him before he travels so hopefully everything goes well but uh, like, like I say couldn't be happier really uh, Gary exciting times Aidan really appreciate the update well done we're brilliant and thanks for your time pleasure Gary thank you thanks Aidan Watch live racing now on RacingTV.com.